Hi, this is Paul Neal, and today we're going to do a procedural bowl of berries. So I'm going to start off uh, just by um, uh, creating a sphere, but I'm going to use a geosphere, not a regular sphere. And uh, for this geosphere, let's just model it to scale might be best. I'm going to call it uh, 0.5 in radius, so it should be pretty small, I would think, for a, a berry, so maybe a centimeter across or something like that. If we take a look at it, geosphere looks, uh, you know, different than um, a regular sphere because it's uh, not linear. It doesn't have, uh, um, you know, lines radiating around it. It gives you this more of a sort of, we'll call it a random pattern. It's certainly not random, but... Uh, you know, a triangulated pattern that's around the uh, around the sphere. And now we're going to shape this up and make it look like what we're looking for. So first off, why on earth is this going to look like a berry? Uh, let's hit X and type in uh, lattice and add a lattice. And we're going to say joints only and uh, uh, icosa, I guess it's pronounced. And maybe probably 1.3 centimeters. That might even be way too big still. And I want to say segments, Ooh, sorry, 1.3, maybe 0 0.13. Yeah, that's better. So pretty small, smoothing on, so it smooths them out. Hit F F4, get rid of it. Uh, uh, so you can see that we've got these, we'll say uh, 0.2 maybe. We'll check this out and, and play around with this. Maybe, um, you know, the segments on the sphere we can play around with. Take it down as low as we can before we start seeing really, really chunky uh, berries. So that doesn't look too bad. We want to get uh, relatively close. Back down to the geosphere, let's try three uh, segments on it. So now we have something that's starting to look sort of more berryish. Below the lattice, uh, we want to add an X form modifier. And I don't like scaling things and whatnot uh, because I like to be able to work procedurally. So I'm just going to scale that up a little bit. X and a, add a taper modifier and taper it in and maybe round it some on the taper. Kind of squish it together. X form might need to uh, come back down a little bit and give us a bit of a berry kind of shape going on. So we've got that working. So there's really, for all intents and purposes, our berry front viewport and in our front viewport I'm going to build the bowl real quick Oops, and we're going to call it a rectangle and I will make it uh, maybe about this big collapse that down to an edible spline two on the keyboard divide and delete half so that I know my pivot point for this object is dead center so you can see that it's dead center here of course because it's dead center I can add a lathe modifier which automatically lays it around for it. I want to make this look, make this look really good. So maybe uh, 128 uh, steps around. And um, uh, the interpolation steps, I'm probably going to want to bump up. We'll do that in a bit as we get there. So let's do a refine and give it a bowl of thickness. And I'm going to give it a base piece here. Back to two on the keyboard. So this is giving us a little step. First, I'm going to go and set them all to corner because I much prefer working in corners. Oops. And uh, move that up. And this one's going to get moved down. Probably somewhere about there. Let's round this out real quick. And uh, we'll take the uh, fillet and I'll round that all the way up and I'll round that all the way up. So we got a nice round bowl. You'll notice it's created double verts here. So let's just go and weld these out and get rid of them. And I'm going to take these top two again and just round them out. And now you can see that we've got steps around it. So if I show it end result, it's not too bad, you know, but I could probably add a few more steps around it just to smooth that out. Now let's also take the um, chamfer and just chamfer this corner a bit and maybe that one a bit in case for whatever reason we see the bottom. So now that we have that, let's go back. We're going to grab um, another geosphere, create it, and I'm going to line it up to the center of the bowl. Oops. Pivot to pivot would be good. And I'm going to scale it up so it fits inside the bowl nicely. And then we're going to um, flatten this out a bit. Uh, and again, I'm going to use X form modifier. I'm 
just going to flatten that down so it'll be a pile of uh, berries in there. And I don't need all the berries around the bottom. They're just going to get in my way. So I'm going to add a slice modifier and say uh, remove from bottom. And in the slice modifier, I could just pull that down a little bit and let them sort of drop down a little bit into there. So there's going to be a, a layer. and We can determine how many we're going to have. So now into our particle system and we're going to use an empty flow and then we need to uh, determine um, you know how many particles we're going to have so birth hook it up and in our birth we're going to determine the amount of particles that we need here i'm just going to pull it down but the emitter emitter is going to, emitter is going to be zero and zero for start and stop so that they're always there uh, we need to know um, where we're emitting particles so we're going to uh, say position object and position object we're going to add and we're going to add our particles you can see them pop up now we're going to say all and you can see they're not coming up on all of the vertices in each and every one of the vertices so this is where we're going to go back and just sort of adjust this up until all of the um, vertices have got a particle um, showing up on them so you could go and find out the number and type it in if you want So now we um, go back to adding shape instance. Shape instance is indeed going to be our berry. And in our display, let's change that down to geometry. And now we can see that we've got a berry at every single one of those locations. And you can see that it's going to be passing out of the side. So back down to the geosphere, I'm just going to pull them in so that you can have them not passing through the sides completely. Of course, we'd also want to have probably more than that. I'm going to up the amount, and as soon as I do that, you're going to see that it's, oops, I didn't go the right way. It's not putting the one on every single one. So again, we're just going to want to fill it in. Try and get a berry on every single one, at least. And now they're all neatly pointing in the same direction. So a rotation at default is random. So perfect. It's already randomized the rotation of all the berries. On top of our uh, slice plane here, maybe we'll add a noise. And probably going to be very small scale, the scale I'm, I'm going to here. So I'm going to pull it right down and then scale the uh, surface. So it gives us sort of a bit more random kind of shape. The other thing I'm going to do is just uh, turn that sh uh, uh, geosphere that we're emitting from to transparent with Alt X. And I'm going to go into object properties and set it to non-rendering. So turn off the renderable uh, capability of it. So there's our bowl of berries already. Uh, let's do a material static now. And in our materials, so I still don't, uh, I'm working on Max 17 here, 2017. So I'm still working with Mental Ray. Um, so I'm just going to go and take and just make a couple of really fast. This is, you know, not going to be very good berry shaders. We'll, we'll take a red one, just take down the glossiness a bit. You can see that the um, size of this, you know, the uh, amount of highlight Maybe something like that. I'll take another one, and this one will, you know, be almost a sort of a blue-black kind of color. And these are going to go out into uh, materials, general, um, multi-sub, and we're just going to add one more multi-sub and hook that up. Now we can take this material static and pipe the uh, multi-sub into it so as an instance so there's our quick really quick shader and in here now you just need to be able to say uh, assign material ID to each particle and it's going to be a random uh, particle starting at uh, zero and so it won't show in the viewport but if we render this now so you can see I'm getting the different colors, but I've got uh, ones overlapping each other here. This means I've got too many. I'm saying uh, emit from all vertices. And so as you get too many uh, showing up now, uh, they start overlapping one another. Of course, I forgot one thing uh, in my haste is that when we're setting the number and setting it up, we want to be a little bit careful here. Click on your renderer 
and um, or sorry, you know, the uh, actual PF source, and it says 50% viewport, so we're not seeing them all in the viewport. So uh, we need to take that down and then set our number, or else we're going to get duplicates. And you can kind of eyeball when it's not making any new ones. So that's not too bad. Let's do a render on that again. So that's looking better. They're all about the same size. So in our shape instance, I'm going to uh, play around my scale, maybe down a little bit, a little bit of variation on them. And at this point, you're going to start seeing holes between them and sort of uh, lots of extra space between them. And what we can do then is I'm just going to go down and make an instance of this uh, piece that we're emitting from. We'll rotate it a bit. And again, in our position, we can go in and add the new one and so that we have both going in there now. Now we want to see, we just sort of want to fill up underneath. So of course we have more vertices now, so we're going to want to have more uh, particles. And so we want to uh, then just fill in this one a little bit and have that one filled in and we can stick it underneath. Now as soon as that one's underneath, we can scale it down. Now. Uh, because I made an instance, I can't just work on it in here. So in this case, I am just going to cheat and do what I never do. And that's just scale down the emitter a little bit. And again, we could find sort of the optimum spot to rotate it, uh, fill the gaps that we're looking for, uh, wherever it might be. And again, do a quick render. So there we go. A bowl of berries. Really, really quick. Some nice shaders on it now and uh, um, you know stick it in a nice scene and you've got a bowl of berries